Hey guys, Steve here from Australian 4x4 Adventures and this is where this adventure starts. We're at the uh, Dargo Hotel, as you can see in the background there, all the cars are just filling up with some diesel and fuel and whatever else they've got. I think every, every car is diesel here actually. There you go Dave, more diesels for you, you're going to love it. Um, plan for today is I think Blue Rag and South Basalt and North Basalt and uh, Collingwood Spur, a couple other decent tracks like that up this way. So obviously you've already seen up top of Blue Rag there. This is where the adventure starts. Let's have a look. Familiar, familiar sound in the background there, the interflate going off, letting down tyres. Probably going to go down to about 18, 19. For most high country gravel road stuff, that's fine. Probably a little bit low for just gravel road, but I don't plan on letting them down again when we hit the tracks. It's rock, so it should be pretty good for 18-ish. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I do. 18-ish for high country stuff, mostly, depending on what we're doing. So we're on the, what is it, like a 5th or 6th, oh sorry, 4x4 brothers as well, I forgot I was, I forgot I was on those fifth. So this is, uh, Mick. Mick, there you go. I'm still learning everyone's name, so they're all just called mate to me at the moment. There you go, mate. <laughs> cool. There you go, so you're mate, done. Uh, Easy. Jake's Race and Adventures. <laughs> there you go. Um, so what are we, like the 6th of November or something like that, or 5th, 5th of today? What is today? 3rd, there you go, 3rd of November, I didn't know that was date. Yeah. Um, there's still snow in the hills. That's friggin' awesome, like, that's, I think that's actually, is that often? I'm not too sure. Well look, I'll put it in the bottom of the screen here what it is. I, th I think it's Hoffman. But <laughs> November and it's still bloody snow around. That's bloody phenomenal in the high country. But if you haven't seen it before, it is. seriously get out of here and just give it a go. It's bloody amazing. So what else we got? Alright, so we've decided that me and Jace are like the artistic ones of the group so far. So we're actually gonna stop and try and film all the other stuff. The other guys are going well ahead already, they, they're just like, yeah, we're going to get to the... We, we just want to take photos and video of everything. Uh, so anyway, we found a better shot of the, uh, of the snow up there. And yeah, it started blue rain. Hopefully, uh, I don't know if you guys have done this on a full, but it's actually, it's a nice little track to do, there's nothing hard about it. So, I'll try and show a fair bit of footage of the track and see how it goes. This is, you know, this is the start. Nav life. As you can see from the uh, the drone footage overlaid over top of this, it's an awesome track that just follows the ridge line all the way along pretty much. So you get some spectacular views left and right. It's just it is one of the uh, the big iconic tracks in the high country. Or personally, I think there are there are better tracks out there for views. Um, you got to go out and find them. I don't tell me where they are. But for ease of ease of access and sort of the general population, average four wheel driver. This sort of track is easy enough for anyone to drive, for someone to drive. Um, it's, it is actually pretty good, but the views are spectacular. So, let's have a 
have a bit of a look around. things you find in the bush so they are it's not a railway carriage it's just middle of nowhere like the tracks here at, well, they're not hard tracks but they're not, not a road it's they're tracks you get these, got this bloody thing sitting here it's, it's huge anyone actually does anyone know any history about it like if you do check out in the comments below because that's love to know more about it actually because I actually don't know much about this one there's no signs around anything so Hey, if you know about it, check out the comments for me. I'd love to find out. Impromptu lunch stop. Leanne's uh, homemade curry puffs. Don't tell them putting sauce on it though. Get angry at me.
So we're on the South for Salt now. Um, they graded it a couple of years ago, so it's not, not overly steppy anymore like it used to be. It's still steep. And the guys up there, they're even struggling to walk on it, it's Jace. <laughs> it is steep and it's sort of a nice shaly, soft rock, so it's a little bit slippery as well, occasionally. Uh, we'll see if we can try and get some uh, shots of cars coming down. Hopefully it's, hopefully it looks her up you guys. That's what I do it for, for you guys. <laughs> Have a look. <laughs> Nearly got your car. <laughs> oh no, the Prado didn't make it. What went wrong? Uh, the tyre size, mate. A couple <laughs> inches too small, eh? Isn't that right, Ash? <laughs> nah, oh, well. We're just trying to get 35s. That's it, one day, mate. I'm the next one. Good effort, The car's no longer clean on that side. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it stinks too. Yeah. Bloody stinky mud. Horrible. Look at this. Brother to the rescue. <laughs> what a dickhead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's the dickhead. Nissan pulls out the Toyota again. Does it really count because it's a Navara and a Prado? It's kind of like the women's versions of cars. Put it in forward. <laughs> it was in reverse. <laughs> Put it in drive. Hold up, hold up. Still in reverse? Yeah. Put it in drive! 
Bloody Friday one is. Righto. That was definitely stuck. Oh, you done, mate. Ah, we, we gave it a shot. We put it in reverse to get recovered. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. That oh, was, yeah, we're no good, mate. <laughs> Got to convert to an isn't. <laughs> Can you go back at all? You still have a bit of movement back, eh? Put the left hand down. Yeah, now go. Nah, you might be done. Yeah, I think it's stuck. I think so. <laughs> Come on, how was that? <laughs> Gave it a rifle crack. <laughs> So he was giving us crap about Nissan's having to recover Toyotas. I know you're going to a Nissan soon. <laughs> but at least the Toyotas, two of them, have given it a go now. Where's these Nissan boys at? Car, oh, freaking <laughs> Nissan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bloody the our owners. <laughs> it was just. Ready, Corey? <coughs> yep. He really launched the net. And that used to be silver. <laughs> <laughs> This is the uh, downfall of coming on a, on a long weekend. We're on Bulltown Spur track now, and there's a shite load of cars coming down, so this is almost like a one-way track. It's tight, so we've all sort of found a bit of a corner. I'm sitting on some st stupid angle, trying to keep the car here. Tight squeeze when they come past. It's a downfall of a long weekend, but even what it is, gotta, gotta get out when you can. Anyway, I think it's Four more cars to come. Let's get them out the way and we'll keep going.
to show to get in. 